Hello everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. As always, I hope you are all feeling fantastic and having an awesome day. And I thank you for taking the time to watch one of my videos. What an episode we have in store for you today. Our Champions League debut as we go to Stamford Bridge to take on Chelsea. Not only that though, we've got two tough league fixtures to come. Barcelona at home and then Valencia away as part of a jam-packed episode. To show you our Champions League group as well, it's a group that I am very confident that we can win. Chelsea, Sporting CP and Shakhtar Donetsk. Obviously, the Champions League, there's no easy games really, but I do feel like we can top this group. Optimism is there and we'll see what we can do in the Champions League this season. So without further ado, let's get started with today's episode. 900 likes is the like target that I'm going to set all of you lovely people and I'm sure we will smash it because you are all legends. Let's get into the first game of the day. Chelsea at Stamford Bridge and I am very excited to make my Champions League debut here we go. I forgot to show you, actually, what happened last episode. We played three matches. We won two of them, lost one. Go back, watch the episode if you do want to see how it panned out. But for now, Champions League debut time. And our team is Ruli in goal. Cucurella, Botman, Coates and Calabria at the back. Myself, Musiala, Parejo and Saar in the midfield with Nunez and Cramrich leading the line up front. Chelsea, it's Mignon in goal. Chilwell, Gay, Tapsoba, Saar and James... Kante and Havertz, Pulisic, Volland and Mason Mount. Into game we go. Volland here with a chance now for Chelsea and Ruli saves. Chance for Chelsea to take the lead. Ruli with the save. 19 minutes in, Chelsea beginning to put the pressure on. They go short from the corner. We block the first cross. Need some help though. I'm in a 2v1 here and that's why it's been tough. But I've actually got possession and done really well. I was trying to work out as well what he was actually playing advantage for because I don't know what the advantage for was there. Anyway, Volland, Havertz, easy. 1-0 Chelsea. That's that defending we talk about. I all, all, I, all I did was tap the button this time. I didn't hold it in, the team press button. One of the perks I want to take a look at is to help me defend. One of you lovely people left me a comment telling me that that should help us. And I'm going to be changing around the perks when I get to that perk, I think it's to do with when you concede 15 minutes after your defence is boosted. I'm not sure if I've unlocked it yet. I will check after the game. Forgot to do it before this one. But Kai Havertz, 26 minutes in. Gives Chelsea a lead that in the first 26 minutes has probably been coming. Because they've had a lot of the ball here at Stamford Bridge. Mount through to Volland. Going for the shot straight at Rooney. Two minutes to go until half-time. We've not seen a chance yet from Villarreal. We need to try and change that in the second half. I'm being honest though, I did have a feeling we would concede here tonight. And going into the group, I was thinking in my head, if we trade results with Chelsea, i.e. lose to them at their place, but then beat them at ours, we will still be able to win the group. So right now it's Chelsea 1, Villarreal 0. And we've not done anything in the game, but there's still 45 minutes to go. Chelsea still on the ball. Volland here, nobody closing him down yet. Calabria... Doesn't do well. And now Reese James looking for the cross. Coates away. And this is the moment where we've got to get a bit of composure. Darwin Nunez. There was no composure there as he lofted the ball forwards and gave it straight back to Chelsea. We're in with the challenge though to win it back. Now Cucurella. And we just have to get on the ball and try and keep the ball for a bit of time. Get some possession more than anything. Nunez. Good strength to hold off the challenge. Still going here. Darwin Nunez. And still Darwin Nunez. Oh my. How about this? Nunez, I take it all back. Forget about the fact that I said he had no composure when he lofted the ball forward, giving it essentially straight back to Chelsea because then he makes me eat my words. Strength to hold off the challenge of Saar. He goes on and on into the Chelsea penalty area and fires it into the far corner. Chelsea won. Villarreal won. The first chance of the game for us as well. Taken by Darwin Nunez. Coates, Musiala, Villarreal here now growing in confidence following that Darwin Nunez equaliser as we are the team looking for a second. Cucurella, Reese James keeping him company and Reese James with a challenge. It'll be a Villarreal throw. 19 minutes remain and there is a change for Chelsea. Moreno on and Volan going off. We have the ball still through Musiala. Now it goes to Parejo. I've kept hold of this and found Cucurella. Cucurella 
looking to get the ball into the box, is he? He does find Cramrich, who turns brilliantly! And Saar was in the way of the shots. Cramrich nearly getting us another Nunez with a strike straight at Mainyan. Good ball through here for Moreno to chase, and Coates has to get there and does. Now Ruli, Cucurella. Good work in the end by Villarreal. Cucurella's ball out towards me on this left side. We've taken the touch inside. Now played to Musiala. 1-2 gets us the ball back. Forward for Nunez. He's away from Tapsoba. Nunez! And he's got another! And Villarreal may have just stolen it! With nine minutes to go! Stamford Bridge silenced! Nunez! Magic! Villarreal! Three points on course in the first game of the Champions League group stage. I said in the first half, trading results would not be bad with Chelsea. We might take the game from them at their place. And it is a massive moment of magic from Nunez. Five minutes remain here. Musiala finding Cramrich. He's got the run of Calabria overlapping. And Villarreal might find a third. You know, if we can pick the right pass here. Calabria does pick me out. The touch wasn't brilliant. We still do get the shot away, though. And Mainyan with a save. It was straight at him. My touch let me down. Unfortunately, the rebound just doesn't fall our way either. We'll keep the pressure on here and not let Chelsea play their way out easily, though. They have done brilliantly. As the ball goes forward, a minute of normal time to play, plus injury time. Kante has got the run of Mount on the right-hand side. Two minutes added on by the officials. Chelsea looking, searching for an equaliser, which will not come their way as we intercept the pass. And now Nunez drives us forwards. Nunez is ball into my feet. We are looking to hold on to this and see the game out. Nunez again. He's found Saar. We are over the time, so as soon as this attack ends, it will be a huge victory for Villarreal in the first game of the Champions League group. We do have a free kick right on the edge of Chelsea's penalty area. Bit of composure now then. And you know what? We are taking this. We've scored one. Can we get another? Got to get it over the wall first and foremost. It is really close to goal, though. That's the problem. And it's into the wall. We get another chance at it, though. Shot dragged wide. We don't care. 2-1 Villarreal is the result here in our debut Champions League game. We pick up a huge victory. Now on to Barcelona. I think the perk that helps us with our defence of our teammates is this one. Lockdown. Defending attributes boosted for a short time. 15 mins after you score a goal or your team scores a goal. I think that's the one we want to put on. I'm not sure if it affects my teammates or just me, but we'll see. We can try it out and uh, see what happens there. As you can see, I still don't have all of the perks unlocked. Threaded pass, cool head, tireless runner, and set piece specialist still to unlock. And I am going to be using tireless runner and probably set piece specialist when we do get those. But that's the change to the perk. And it's time to take on Barcelona at the Estadio de la Ceramica. The two lineups on your screen. Unchanged, 11 from the side that just beat Chelsea 2-1. Nunez's brace was the reason we pick up that victory. For Barcelona, to Stegen, Guerrero, Laporte, Arujo and Tomiyasu at the back. Gonzalez, Pedri, Pellegrini in the midfield. Torres, Abraham and Anthony as the front three. Barcelona corner, six minutes in. Anthony to take, goes short to Guerrero. The cross into the box. I mean, I don't know how that's handball. My arms were by my side and it looked like it hit me in the chest, the ball. But apparently the referee played advantage there as if... We handled the ball. Absolutely not. Anyway, we break away then with Villarreal trying to create a chance. Sars ball into my feet is good. And I'm still trying to work the space as Cramrich. Look at my run here. Look at the run we've made. He does find me as well. But can we pick out the ball back into the box? Back post is Saar who gets his head to it off the crossbar. Here is Tammy Abraham. Barcelona had a lot of the ball in the last 10 minutes. We haven't touched it. They're keeping hold of it really well. But they've not created a chance yet. Musiala. Doing enough there to prevent that one, but then doesn't get rid of the ball. He has his pocket picked. Pellegrini finds Anthony and Barcelona take the lead. Musiala does so well initially to block the cross, but then he just doesn't release. I'm not sure if he's caught because when he takes his first touch, he doesn't actually get the ball fully under control. And then he turns straight into Pellegrini, who has the easy job of just playing the ball to an unmarked Anthony. And it's Barcelona 1, Villarreal 0. And the pressure they've had for the last 10 minutes in terms of keeping hold of the ball has come true. Cramrich's ball finds Nunez. Nunez can help it forward to me. I've got to try and get in behind here. And we are in behind. Can we find the finish? We do. Villarreal equalise on the stroke of half time. Nunez with the ball through. We provide the finish. And we needed that goal to take us into the break with a bit of momentum. That changes the half time team talk now from Unai Emery.
other than the Barcelona goal. It's been a fairly even contest. Sars hit the bar early on before they scored. Then we saw Anthony score the goal. After that, it's been even. And we've got our award then. 1-1. And it leads us to a very interesting second half coming up. Coates, Musiala, Coates again. Now Musiala once more. He plays it forward to myself. Run on the right-hand side from Saar. The switch of play is good. Ismail Saar controls it expertly. But he can't get the ball into the box. And it is pretty end-to-end -end here. Both sides going for the win, which is good to see. Neither side settling on the draw. But who will be the team to find the goal? That's the question. Pellegrini, Pedri, finding Torres. Abraham, good tackle from Botman. Parejo, forward to Cramrich. Still half an hour to go. Nunez, look at the space I'm in here. Nunez, the first touch out of our feet. Can we find the finish though? We've hit the post. No. Oh, no. The inside of the post and the ball bounces out agonizingly wide. That was so agonising. Why could the ball not have dropped in off the inside of the post? Why did it have to go out? And now Abraham might be in himself. Tammy Abraham, he doesn't miss. Barcelona in front. Oh, you can't write it. As soon as we hit the inside of the post and the ball bounces out, Barcelona go up the other end and Tammy Abraham smashes them in front. It's a class finish from a class forward. And that's the way to do it. I am so gutted that we weren't in front but then to concede immediately after I said both sides were going for it so neither side settling for a draw and that's the way you want to play football it's got to be entertaining but moments before that we were almost 2-1 in front Nunez Musiala we're still not going to give up the fight here we're still carrying on looking to get ourselves back in this Cucurella doing well ball towards Cramrich to Nunez Laporte with a challenge it was a good challenge as well it had to be inside the penalty area Unai Emery has gone ultra attacking. So that shows you the mentality from Villarreal. We feel we can get something out of this game. It has been a game of fine margins. But at this moment in time, it is Barcelona 2, Villarreal 1. And we've got 10 minutes to change that. Tammy Abraham finding the feet of Kwande. Now Ferran Torres. Space opening up for him. Nobody getting close to him. He goes for goal and really will save. He had the freedom to drive forward there for Torres. The shot at the end of it, denied. Cramrich off, a Villa on for us. There is a change as well for Barcelona as Anthony's crossing to the middle. Depay is on four. Abraham, and it was nearly 3-1 Barcelona. Laporte's header denied by Ruli. He's coming in clutch in these final moments. But we've got to find a chance up the other end. That's the issue. Botman, play me, does play me. Back heel for Saar. Saar now can send it again. And we're away. But have we got the pace and the stamina to go all the way? Cutting inside on the left foot. It's got to be 2-2 two, two at the Estadio della Ceramica. We missed the first chance to find our second. We do not miss the third. Yes. Pedri, Torres, Barcelona searching for a third. Do not let it happen. Memphis Depay, Pedri. It is absolutely spectacular from Barcelona who break the hearts of all the Villarreal fans inside the Estadio de la Ceramica. We worked so incredibly hard to get ourselves back on level terms. The heroics of Rooney undone and Barcelona sink the ship that is Villarreal and we will not get anything from the game. Football can be beautiful. Football can be cruel. And today, we're on the side of cruel. What a game we've had here. It's been an entertaining one, for sure. But it doesn't change the heartbreak from us not getting anything from this. What a fight we put up. Just wasn't enough. Barcelona 3, Villarreal 2 is the full-time score. And look at my reaction. I mean, yeah, we worked so hard. So hard to get a result there, but it just happens like that sometimes in football. Anyway, on to Valencia we go then. That defeat has put us down to fifth now. Atletico have won five from five. Valencia, who we take on next, just below us in sixth. So we've already lost two matches this season. And I imagine Atletico won't have many slip-ups. So we really have to try and win this one here against Valencia. It will not be easy as we travel to the Estadio Mestalia. And you can see the two lineups. 
Ben White is in the starting 11 for Villarreal as he makes his debut. That is the only change to our starting 11 from the Barcelona match. Here we go. Just need to put that Barcelona game to the back of our minds now. Focus on this one. It happens. It's football. 3-2, crushing defeat. But we've got chance here to pick up three points as Nunez plays a 1-2 with me. And once again, now Cramrich. It's good football from Villarreal. But have we got the chance at the end of this? Nunez. Cramrich is so, so well worked. You probably won't see a better goal in this game than that one. What a move. It started pretty much straight from kickoff. It carried on till we finished it into Valencia's goal. Nunez, six assists he's on now in six La Liga matches. It's incredible. And Cramrich, how many goals is he on now? He got four in one last episode when he scored the four against Valladolid. Is he on six goals as well in six games? We'll see right here. No, he's on nine. What? Nine goals in six matches. Mudrick off to Marcus Andre. Lovely ball through. No offside flag. And here's Ratchet. Chalmida! 1-1. One, one. Valencia hit back. Again, we concede. And the problem, the problem for us right here is that that's even with the boosted stats that we're meant to have for 15 minutes. And they've still scored. Talk about ours being worked well. Theirs was as well, but it's not quite as nice as ours. Maybe that's the bias in me. Anyhow, it is 1-1, and it's back to all level. Nunez, Cucurella over on the left. There's the pass to Cucurella. And now he's going to hold off the pass. He finds me. I'm going to play it to the edge of the area for Musiala, who goes for goal. Almost catches McCarthy out. Good effort. Calabria. Now Saar. Saar coming back inside. It's intercepted, but it's not one. And that's a great ball through. McCarthy reacts quick. Nearly, nearly 2-1. Nunez, Musiala turning. What a ball it is as well. Barcelona in front in their game, just taking the lead. We need to get a good delivery in here from this one. McCarthy claims it. Nunez was trying to attack it at the back post, but Tammy Abraham has just given Barcelona a 1-0 lead against Las Palmas. So all square here. We need to try and find our way back in front. Why is Cucurella... In such a central position. He comes over quick enough, though, to deny the attack. And now Cramrich. Nunez turning away. I'm holding the whip for you still, as we often do. And there's the ball back out towards us. Back inside for Cucurella. Now Cramrich. Will there be a chance at the end of this? Cramrich doesn't work it well, but he's got through to Musiala again. McCarthy again. That's the third time this game that Musiala has been denied a goal by McCarthy. Just to show you the match facts at half-time, you question how the game is 1-1. One single shot for Valencia. We've had nine. And it's been McCarthy who's had a great game in the Valencia goal. Saar has Cramrich and Nunez in a forward position. Finds Nunez, who does well to play it back out towards Ismail Saar. Controls it. And now he's got options. Cramrich in the middle. Musiala. Cramrich again. Cramrich! It's a phenomenal finish! And Cramrich gets his 10th of the season! Just when we needed him to find the finish, he has done. What a goal this is, by the way. I showed you the match facts. We were unhappy to be 1-1. Well, it's 2-1 now and we have to hold on to this. It's a great finish off the underside of the crossbar. Nestles into that bottom corner. It's the form that Cramrich is in. And it is Villarreal with a deserved lead here at the Estadio Mestalia. Ratchic. Going to try and get the ball into the box. Unable to do it because Calabria has defended well. And now it's a chance for Villarreal to break. Cramrich. Nunez. Nunez with the ball forward. Scott Saar to my right. And there is Ismail Saar now then. Into space. We need to get in the box to support though. Saar with a cut back. Finds my feet. Using that to try and open up the space. Which we do. McCarthy not for the first time today. Is there with a save. Baba. Ratchic. Almeida. Modric. I, like, no! No! Valencia's third shot. It's gone in. It's 2-2. We spent pretty much the entirety of this game just dominating it. Dominating it. And McCarthy's made eight, nine saves. Chance after chance after chance. And yet the score is 2-2. We don't do ourselves any favours, do we? We really do not. Mudrick scores. I don't know how, but we are just conceding so many goals. And I don't know what's changed. Other than we lost Milenkovic, I guess. So it shows you the importance of him. 
Bramrich. We're playing left striker right now, apparently. The boss has said, as we do get the chance to shoot, and there it is! Straight back in front! 3 2! It's a good job we can score, isn't it? Really is a good job that we can score goals as a team. Because imagine if we were conceding this many and not able to find the back of the net either. We might be the only team so far to have scored and conceded double figures in La Liga. And we're only seven matches in. It is tremendous, the amount of goals in our matches right here. Makes for good entertainment at least. And now Valencia are beginning to find a few more shots. Salimieka's corner. Almeida free header. Rooney tips it over. Who was marking him? Because it was not good defending, as you have, well, come to expect really from us, haven't you? Oh, what? 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 Oh, I can't, I can't even begin to explain what just happened. Ben White has the ball. Salimieka slides in. Right here, Rooney can pick that ball up. It's come off an opponent. Why is he smashing it out first time? Straight, no less. To Marcus Andre, it's 3-3. Theme of the video, make our own problems. Still playing striker, by the way. But it doesn't matter because it's 3 all. And I don't want to say it, but I think that might well be the title done unless... Hang on a moment because we're in again. We're in again. Uh, uh, well, you know what? Yes. Just yes. That's all I've got to say. Just, just yes. Title, back on. Maybe. We'll see. Fifth in six for us. And Valencia, well, you got eight minutes to try and once again get back on level terms. And knowing us, you probably will. You'll probably get a chance to do it right now. Calabria, though, does have it. Now, Parejo, Nunez making the run in behind. Nunez finding Cramrich. Back to Nunez. Back to Cramrich. It's beautiful football. And the overlap there from Cucurella. There's the pass. Can we see this game out? Can we finish it off? Make it another one. There's Nunez. Game, set, match. Valencia, no chance now. Five. Three, pandemonium in terms of the celebration because we made this tough work here today. I still think I'm playing up front, by the way. So hence why I'm holding this position. Saar on the right-hand side. Single minute left of added time. Saar's cross blocked. And Valencia have it back. And that should be full time, my friends. 5-3, the full time score here. I hope you like goals. Because we've had a lot of them today. And yet another game where we've conceded too many goals. But at least we scored them. Play of the match went to Cramrich. I got two. Nunez, two assists and one goal. And we'll take a look quickly at the match facts just to show you really the domination. In the end, Valencia did fight back though, having nine shots at one point. They were on two. And the score was 2-1. And then they scored off their third shot to make it 2-2. So, yeah. We got away with that. And at least we get the win. Barca winning again as they beat Las Palmas by two goals to nil. Celebrations in the dressing room. And we'll take a look then at the table as we go today. Standings. There is a couple of teams still yet to play around us. But ultimately, Atletico are one of those sides. Barcelona are top. But Atletico do have a game in hand and could return top if they win that. Even if they draw it, they'll go back top, I think, as well. So anyway, Real Madrid second. Atletico third. Sevilla fourth. We are fifth point behind Sevilla. I said we were one of the only sides to have conceded and scored double figures. 20 goals scored, 14 conceded. Valencia 12 and 12 and Osasuna 11 and 10. 10 and 10 for Valladolid. And as we scroll down, you can see. So we've conceded the most goals in the league so far, but we've also scored the most. Even the teams down the bottom haven't conceded as many as us. So we are shipping far too many goals as things stand. Champions League-wise, you saw us make our debut in that 2-1 victory over Chelsea. Shakhtar and Sporting drew one apiece. So we are top of the group after the first game has been played. But five more to go. We'll see how we get on there. And I will take a look as well to show you exactly how many goals, assists our pro has got. Because there was some comments asking me about that. So 45 goals, 35 assists in 69 appearances is fantastic. And that's 80 goal contributions in 69 matches. Hopefully we'll continue this form as we try and win as many trophies as we can. It's been a tough start to the league, that has to be said, and we did have ambitions to win the league title this year. 
We are going to require some slip-ups and some big performances from us. But the Champions League as well might be an interesting one to keep your eye on this season. For now, my friends, that is the end of today's episode. A massive thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, a like would be greatly appreciated. Let's aim for 900, like I said earlier. You lot of legends will probably smash that. So thank you so much for your continued support. Until next time, stay safe. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Look after each other. And I will see you all again with the next episode very, very soon. Until then, adios.